The Nigerian Legion, an organization committed to supporting and honoring veterans, has called for increased financial support from the federal government to honor the forgotten heroes. The national chairman of the Nigerian Legion, Major General Abdul Malik Jibril, retired, made the call during a special program organized by the Legion. This event holds particular significance as part of activities lined up by the organization to mark the 2024 Armed Forces Remembrance Day, celebrated annually on January 15th. And I also see this opportunity to call on the federal government to come to the aid of the Nigerian Legion to provide us with the adequate funds that will make us to carry along all the ex-servicemen and women carry out our responsibilities that is bestowed upon us under the act establishing the Nigerian Legion to, to cater for their well-being. We cannot do that if we don't have adequate uh, funding. We have a lot of opportunities under the act to translate into uh, making us have a very solid financial base. But we cannot do that if we don't have the government support give us the seed fund that will make us invest and kickstart those areas that will make us proud. Through this program, Berata, in collaboration with Nigerian Legion, schools in our community, aims to provide an opportunity for children to witness firsthand the Nigerian Legion House, a monument that stands a symbol of honor and respect for our veterans. By visiting this revered institution, the children will witness the value, strength, and contribution of our servicemen and women, both past and present. We hope that this experience will leave an indelible mark on their young minds, impressing upon them the significance of sacrifice, dedication, and dedication to our nation. The special program brought together stakeholders and school children to honor veterans and educate young minds about sacrifice duty and the importance of cherishing the nation's fallen heroes. Anybody who joins the military and, uh, I mean, any military, whether uh, land, army, air force or navy, it means that he has sold his life for the benefit of his country. He has dedicated his life for the benefit of his country. And how do we start? imbibing this culture of uh, self-sacrifice is a true uh, enlightenment of the youth. And that's why this is a, the first time we are incorporating school children, students in secondary school, to be part of this, uh, our arrangement for enlightenment to the need to live peaceful, to avoid anything that will create a war situation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.